Right, hello everyone. Right, so currently uh, I'm with Luca. Nice to meet you. Right, so we are currently in Milan, Italy. So very, very lucky to meet Luca because he's flying off tomorrow. Right, and of course, uh, just for those who don't know, right, I'm Luis, Senior Market Strategist for Flutter Markets and I'll be doing a one-to-one -one interview with Luca. Right, so very lucky and let's start. Okay, so Luca, do you know how do you first met? Seriously. Right. Right. Uh, we, we, met, we met first time in Kuala Lumpur uh, a couple of years ago. No, actually, it was uh, something like December or yeah, uh, 2019, before COVID, I think, <laughs> at the boot camp. And uh, yeah, it was a great, great experience, a experience that I suggest everybody, uh, not only for people who want to trade in their life, but everybody has want to have a career path in any kind of business. It gave you a lot of strength and uh, yeah, motivation. That's really nice, and you can meet nice people like <laughs> Louis and many others, many, many others. Right. So of course, I think uh, Luca already ex explained the experience that he did uh, during the boot camp in Kuala Lumpur in KL, Malaysia. Yeah. Right. So of course, I would ask ask about that anymore. Um, I think the experience is really fantastic. Like what yeah. Luca mentioned, right? Even if you're not a trader, you should attend the boot camp if it's back again. Right. So our UP boot camp. Right, so of course the next the next part will be hey, Luca, you are based you're, you're not based in Italy, right? No, I'm based in I'm based in Bari, but they travel often to Italy because I have my family in Italy, so uh, yeah, based in, I'm based in Bahrain, but travel to Italy, so it's just a mix. Of okay, places. okay. So, so of course the next question I'll be asking you: know, how, how is the COVID situation in uh, Bari? Uh, it's like the situation here in Italy, so it's, everything is open again for those uh, who are already vaccinated. Okay, that's the. the, 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 the the most important things, no? If you are vaccinated, you have your green pass, and you can go everywhere. So it's quite uh, it's okay. So now the situation is getting better. Yeah. So how do you know about Flutter Markets? Oh. I mean, we are tied with us, right, for four years now. So how do yeah. you come across us? I tell you, I need any one minute to explain the big story. <laughs> I was working in Switzerland for a big multinational company, a really big one. Then I lost my job and before finding another one, I just uh, had the opportunity to stay in Bangkok for a while because my wife was working there. And I had the opportunity to meet Rick Ray, who is my mentor, and uh, is the one that introduced me to the full of the market. It was just uh, advertising some kind of trading uh, experience in um, in uh, Meetup, is a famous app, Meetup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and uh, it was an introduction of trading if I want to. Okay, so, I decided to, to meet him. And uh, since I met him, I never <laughs> let him go. So, now he's not only my, my mentor, he's one of my biggest friends. He's going to reach me in Bari. Now, we're going to spend three months together trading yep. and making some. Uh, yeah, something nice around the trading, the trading market, yep. and uh, yeah, we think they will okay. We take a chat with me yep. and Rick if they want on Facebook. You can, uh, uh, right. So of course, uh, for those who don't know Rick Ray, I'm pretty sure you know, right? You probably see him around uh, on Facebook, social media, um, whenever uh, he does a lot of uh, webinars, on Facebook Live, you know, trading on gold. Okay, I think he does go a lot of gold trading. Yeah, he does, he does a lot of gold trading. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, so, of course, I, I think that's fantastic because, you know, uh, our world is very small, right? Connected, and he actually connected me with Big Ray through an app called Meetup, right? And then that's how he started his Forex journey. So, of course, the next question that I want to ask uh, Luca is, no, do you face any challenges when you started uh, trading for it? Uh, yeah, the, the big challenge is just to refrain to invest all your money at the <laughs> beginning because, you know, uh, there is a, a, a wrong message in the world around trading. Okay. Uh, the people think that we go trading and be the best in one day, two days. So you have to refrain to understand that as same as, same as any other job, you need to training, you need to study, you yep. need to, to take your time. And then, of course, you, you become profitable. I remember my first year, I was able to do the average of $1 a day or $10 a day in the course of the year. And it seems more, but it's good because you think that 19% 
upset the traders. They lose their account in the first three months. So I was really happy with this. Now, after four years, I'm making 10% of my account, all my trading account that I have with Fulato. So that's <laughs> it's a lot of improvement. Because I study, I get ready, yep. and then I increase my lot size so yep. day by day. Uh, I improve and I grow up my account. I became conscious about my opportunity, about, about the market, and of course, thanks to Rick that teach me also how to protect your capital. And this is the most important thing in trade. Money management is most important. I think that's a very good point because uh, I think in trading, right, you can double your account, triple your account. You know, anyone can do that, but. Protecting your capital is the tough part, right? The risk management part, because you are here in the long run, you're not here to take your money and run, right? This is a skill, right? Passive income is a alternative income that you can get just by being disciplined. Yeah, and if you don't want to study, you don't need to study. You just must follow me, Rick, or any other. It's the only two. There are the many of uh, good, good traders in Kuala Lumpur yep. uh, that have a copy paper account. You can just follow and get passive income without doing nothing. Just trusting uh, our previous result. Of course, you don't ask me to trust you. Our previous result, our serious, because we are serious traders. So just following us, you can get more. If instead you want to learn more and want to create your own path, you can do that. I think that's a very good point whereby. <laughs> I think that's a very good point on committing, right? So, like what Luca mentioned, right? You no need to be a trader to earn profits in the forex market, right? There's a yeah, copy fee. You know, you can just copy a trading provider, you can copy a big ring, uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, Prosperity FX, or you can copy Luca, yeah. right? So, you know, we have these traders available for you, and all you need to do is just copy uh, their trades. Right, and then I think that's fantastic. It's a good start into forex trading. But of course, if you want to go deeper into trading on your own, right, you can always seek Luca or even Rick Ray, right? They are also teaching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, we can teach. Me and Rick we can teach. Yeah. We are going to open now. Uh, um, uh, some courses in Bahrain from tomorrow, so we're going to teach uh, physically face to face because in Bahrain now it's possible to meet face to face <laughs> slightly again. But also we are teaching online. We can we can do uh, we can support you if you like in the best way you want. And let me, if you allow me, Luis, yeah, yeah. I want to spend two words in full yeah. because I know uh, when you approach this market, uh, it's the trading market. You have a lot of broker around you. Uh, for me, having full account as a broker is quite different. I don't know. It's like having a, a, a family. I met Mario Singh as the CEO, as the, the, the owner, as <laughs> the broker. But I met him personally. We had a, a drink together. He's a nice guy, supportive, and full account each time the class of the day. Always, uh, they always are uh, so keen to help you. It's quite it's different. It's not like having just a broker. It's like having your personal uh, banker. It's really, really strange. Really experienced. Really, really. Uh, yeah, really strange. I can say because you cannot expect a broker uh, like uh, you know your uh, supporting you all the time. Like, yeah. like a friend. A friend. <laughs> I think that's a very good point where like, uh, you know we are we are really like a family, right? You know, if you are a client, uh your ID, you know, it doesn't really matter because you know we are all here to help. We want the best for you as well. Right? And you know, uh, if you have any issues, even like what Luca mentioned, right? Mario, even drag with Mario, right? Do, which which broker do you think gonna see? The best quality of Mario and one among other is to choose uh, the, 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 the collaborators, so the people, the, the yep. people that they, he hired, the, the amazing people that they met in part of the yep. now you, Louis, again. <laughs> so the, the, the people are really nice, it's really simple people, you can speak with them, they are not pretending, they are not selling something, they just want to be part of the family and grow up together, grow together. Right. So thank you so much, Luca. Right, I think that really gives us the vote of confidence as well. So Luca, I mean, you are 
I think everyone is curious as well to, you know, you are a trader. So just want to ask, you know, what, what kind of trader are you? Are you an algo trader? Are you a manual trader? Oh, well, yeah, I, I, I use both because um, I still I love trade manually. I love it. So it's something that I like. Wake up in the morning, yeah. read the news, and try to uh, react to the market. Yeah. Because one of the, yeah, the things that we must know is we are not predicting the market, we're just reacting to the market. Okay. But of course, good to know. Um, and yeah, so as a mix, I have my, my robot, I say, uh, as a robot that is taking trade for me. Because even if I like trading manually, I don't want to stay five, ten hours in front of the chart. I want to spend time with my family, with my friends. So I just spend two, one, two, three hours, depends on the day, in the chart. And uh, taking my one, two manual trades if there is the opportunity. Otherwise, uh, sometimes even uh, not trade. Because sometimes the best trade is not trade. If there is no opportunity, you cannot take the trades. At the same time, I'd be hard to take the trade for me when I'm sleeping. So it's a combination of both. Okay, it's a combination of both. Of course, even if you want to trade with algo, you must know how to manage market because you know sometimes you need to intervene and you know uh, support the algo to take yeah. the right direction. So True. this is just not you cannot just put algo or robo in your account and let it do. So you need to manage the situation. So, yeah. Right. So it's a really good point uh, that Luca mentioned that you know as a trader, you know for algo trader, right? You use EAs, but you still need to manage, right? It's not as if, you know, you on your EA today, two years later, you come back and then your 200 USC became 20K USC, right? That's not how it works, right? You sort of manage, you need to look at the risk, you need to read the news somehow, right? And you have to manage your risk because sometimes uh, EA might overtrade uh, and you never know, right? So you always have to adjust to market conditions as well. So that's a very, very good point by Luca. So, uh, so of course, since we're on this point on algo and manual trading, Let's move on to uh, Federal Reserve. I think that is something a lot of people are curious about. Yeah, this is something related to uh, daily news. That yeah, daily news, right. Company. So, so of course, uh, this question will be, you know, uh, that you need Luca. to know to, yeah. react, to, to, to react to react to the right. Yeah. So, the, so, the next question will be, Luca, what is your take on the Federal Reserve? Right, no tapering, uh, rate hikes. Yeah, the, 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 I think the situation is quite clear now what's going to happen, you know. Uh, the economy is start to be better now after COVID and uh, start to react to go in again and uh, the risk of inflation is higher uh, and uh, in fact something that they are really monitoring now with US the Fed is the inflation. They want to know unemployment rate, they want to know inflation and as long as inflation goes up, uh, they want to taper in basically uh, withdraw the, the, the support to the market that was going in the past during the COVID time. And um, so this is one of the, the instruments the Fed has is to reduce, the, to increase the interest rate uh, to you know, to fight against inflation. Um, something that could happen soon, I think. Uh, not as soon as expected a couple of months ago. Still, uh, the COVID cases increased in the, the US. Same happened, for example, in Australia. Really recently, the Central Bank of Australia was expecting to start the tapering already, but instead, last week, instead, they decided to postpone in December. So, because they still want to look at the, the situation, the COVID situation, the, in the next two months. Okay. And the same thing, the Fed, basically, from the discussion that they had last week. So, the expectation now for is that between December and the new year we can start tempering it. Maybe we can uh, we can see the first uh, uh, increase of interest rate uh, soon in 2022. And that of course should be ready. We should, our, uh, as a trader, we should be ready to react to the market and uh, uh, you know move our uh, capital in the right direction as soon as it happens. Uh, we can expect gold going down maybe for a, for a while at least. Uh, and, uh, or let me say, not really going down, but a little bit pressure on metals that we can be expect. And uh, the US dollar instead going very well. That's what we expect in the next 2000. Let's see, because as I mentioned, we should react to the market, not predict the market. We saw something that in the next one that changed completely the scenarios for the next year. So let's see. So spot on, I think. Uh, what you mentioned about the correlation, right? So what Federal Reserve do will affect your trades, right? So you might go down, dollar will strengthen, but 
you have to know this, right? If, even if you are a, a technical trader, right? Even yeah. if you're a technical trader, you need to know what fundamentals do because ultimately those are the pushing factor of how yeah. currency moves. There, there are a lot of factors when you want to trade. It's not only the technical analysis of the chart. This is important for me, particularly for getting the right point for entering and exit from the trade. Okay. But for uh, taking a trade, you need to know the sentiment, the market sentiment. Listen, you need to know, for example, one piece that not, not many people's trades is the uh, report that is issued each Friday is the commitment of trades. The commitment of trades, we can see where smart money hard. Oh. So where institutional institution bank or uh, institution or um, uh, uh, hedge fund manager where they put their money so sometimes it is going to the other direction but so to look where the institutional traders they put their money and then go in the same direction can help you of course <laughs> if the hedge fund manager they put a lot of money in gold yeah. because they expect the gold going up so they have a lot of uh, bullish position open over there, and my position over there. So it's better to monitor the market. Maybe you should stay in the right way. You should, you should be in the uh, upper trend. Okay. So this is something that must be taken consideration in your day by day trading as well uh, to react to compare to the market what the market is going to. And what I want to tell if you allow. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm four years, four years and a half, almost five years in this market now, yeah. and uh, what I'm seeing, lots of, uh, I cannot say scam. It's not correct, but it could be lots of people that they just promote uh, easy earning, become rich, buy a Ferrari. It's not like this trading. It's not like this. Yeah. So, uh, as same as your job. You take 10 years, 20 years, 15 years to become a director or a manager. It takes, this, I don't say the same time, it takes time to become a good trader. You cannot become a good trader one day, two days, one month, one year. You need time to understand the market correlation to currency. So you need to understand how does it work the market. You can react to the market. You no, know, this is uh, something that I think is really important. So stay away from people that they, they pr promote that you're going to get rich in two months. In, this is not true. You can, you can do it in five, six, ten years. You can do that. I left my job. It was a <laughs> it was a director job for one of the big wow. <laughs> Lots of money. I left my job, so it's possible to work, to stay free, to do trading. But you need time, and you need to follow the right person. I'm not saying that me and we and always are the only right person in the market. Just, you can find right person in the market. Just the person that. They teach you how to make money, how to stay, how to sustain your account in the course of the time, you know, without promoting to become rich in one month. That's not possible. <laughs> I think that, that is uh, very, very true. I mean, I've been in the market for close to four years, same as uh, Luca, and we always see, right, you know, uh, buy a Lambo, you can double your account in a day. It's not that it's not possible, it's possible, but how long can you sustain it, right? Can you do that every day? Yeah, if not, if not, you have right. one million dollar to invest already, maybe you can buy a Lambo, yeah, because I, I, I'm, I'm making 10% a month in my account. It's a lot. 10% of one million dollar is 100,000. I, I didn't have, I have it. <laughs> One million dollar to invest, so I have to start slowly. And maybe they become rich, maybe yeah, they can reach me. It takes time, so I want yeah. to take my time. I don't want to bust my money because I broadly, <laughs> broadly earn my money. I make lots of effort to get my money. I don't want to lose my money. So protect your capital is the first thing you have to take Always. Protect the capital, right? So that is the first point. Right? And, and I really believe that you know a lot of seasoned traders, once you are long, long enough in the market, right, you will understand that it's not about how much you can make, but it's how much you can reduce of losing, right? How how much can you stop yourself from losing? I think that is the most important. So you can constantly be winning. If yeah, you can constantly. if you are able in one year to make one dollar, I say one dollar, not one dollar a day for one year, then the year later you can day you can do one hundred dollar a day. Then a year later you can do maybe one thousand dollar a day. It's, it's important things to be consistent in the win. No lose your capital, no lose your account, no blow up your account. You can be able to do if you want to gamble, go to the casino. You can do one thousand dollars in one day if you want. But the problem is what 
how much you're going to do the day later. Yeah. That's the problem. Because if you do one dollar today, you lose all one thousand dollar tomorrow today, and tomorrow you're going to lose all the one thousand dollars you get. You have nothing. And the guys that make only ten dollar, you can have ten dollar. You don't have nothing. So yeah. money. Be consistent. Understand and be. Uh, uh, be consistent in making money. And if you don't have time to study, okay, you are copy people. You can copy people like uh, me, Rick, and, and many others, which you can see the story of trading. You can see my account and copy people. You can see that I, I, I never blew up the account. My account blew up 10% a month since already one year, two years. It depends which account we are looking for. So, of course, for all those who are watching, right? Copy Pip is also another platform, like, like what I mentioned, right? If you're a new trader and you don't have the time to learn trading, right? You can always copy Pip, you know, learn or copy trading, um, you copy the trades from season traders, and I think that's fantastic for you. And at the same time, you can learn as well, right? By just copying uh, trades. So, of course, I believe you guys really, really want to know more. So, I am for Luca and Rick, right? They are going to meet in Bahrain, right? Yeah, yeah, we're going to meet tomorrow. 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 Two days. Two, two days, days, right? We're so, going to start something in Bahrain. So, right. right. So, so, of course, for those of you guys who are in any part of the world, it doesn't matter which part you are, right? You can always contact uh, Luca or Rick Ray, right? And if you want to learn more, I'm pretty sure, you know, they have a course ready. You know, they, yeah, they are We can work together. Yeah, partnership, you know, they are more than willing to teach and help you, you know, learn what is forex trading and moving you towards to become a professional trader, a seasoned trader and of course um, eventually if you want right to be a treasure provider for people as well. Right? You can provide trades for others as well. So right so if you want go to our description but we will tag Luca on your Facebook there you can uh, PM him directly right and then you can ask him for all the details on uh, what uh, for, for example is Forex course or you know any partnership that you are uh, that you want to do with him. I think that's fantastic. Yeah, that's alright. Right, right, right. right. perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> alright, so of course I know uh, we just want to end this off, right? Don't want to take too much of Lucas' time as well, and we're right, entirely right. Just a tip for the followers here. Now I don't know if they're going to when they're going to watch the video, but maybe they will watch later. So Meta will be under pressure now because they are the third quarter of the month. Yeah. Will be the, yeah. Okay. okay. It's gonna uh, people's gonna traders is gonna withdraw some money to, to get some liquidity. So you know, to withdraw some profit at yep, the end yep. of the quarter so the third quarter so maybe metal will be under pressure but he's expecting next month will be better all right so right so that's and there's some uh, tips for you yes. right for gold probably under pressure until the silver gold ends. and platinum and gold. Yeah, so all the metals uh, are there you can see right gold silver so that is some good tips from Google right so of course if you want to know more do follow him on Facebook and of course you can PM him DM him on Facebook to learn more about uh, his partnership with Rick or of course if you want to partner with him you can contact him from there as well right okay thanks, thanks. Really, thank you really thank you very much. right thank you Luca and I hope to see you guys bye bye, bye.